Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into DaVinci Resolve and creating an eye mask transition, really popular transition you see a lot in like cinematic videos and music videos like this one. So we're going to jump in and show you how to do it and this is going to be like a part one and two series. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do the zoom in effect and then in another video later on I'll show you how to do the zoom out. Yes, it's more or less the same, it's sort of just the same process reverse but I am aware that there are people out there that just sort of struggle with sort of interpreting tutorials and sort of going out on their own. So I'm just going to show you how to do both. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. This is the sort of timeline we have here. And this clip is the one that we've put into Fusion. So if we go into Fusion and have a look at the node tree, you can see there's not a whole lot going on. We've got two video clips. And then we've got a couple of transform nodes and then one mask. So it's a pretty easy effect to create, not a lot going on. So let's create that effect. So I'm just gonna create a new timeline. And I'm gonna drag my footage down into it. Now I don't really need the audio for this, so I'm just gonna option click and delete that. Now, when bringing video clips into Fusion, it's always important to only bring what you need. Otherwise you're gonna be putting some unnecessary processing power through your computer. So although we're using this whole clip for this scene, we only really need like, let's say from like here, otherwise so we're probably about here. So I'm just gonna Command B or Control B, cut that, so that we only take this bit of footage into Fusion. All right, so we're gonna click that and just jump across into Fusion. The first thing we're gonna do, just a bit of organization, so we're gonna click the media in one node and we're just gonna rename it. So function F2, I'm just gonna call this, uh, we'll call it Video Mask. Then the first thing we're gonna do is add a transform node. So I'm gonna hit shift space and then type in transform, hit enter. We're just gonna add a transform node like so. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is animate the zooming in motion. And we're gonna zoom in around about, sort of like around the 120 frame mark for this particular video. But if you notice, if we go to the inspector under the transform node and zoom in, it kind of just zooms into the center. We don't want that, we want it to zoom into the eye. So to do that, we're gonna to have to reposition the pivot point, which is this little green X here. That can be controlled over here in the inspector under the pivot X and Y. And if we move that, you can see that that X moves all around. Once we can grab it, we can literally grab it and move it. And we basically just wanna position it more or less around the eye. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to quickly keyframe that through for the length of this video clip. So we're gonna start at 99. We're gonna set it, we're gonna move that X into position going to hit the little diamond here. Then we're going to go to the end frame. So 144, we're going to move that. We're going to move that down more or less there. And then we're just going to slowly go through the video clip. I'm just going to make sure that this one is more or less in the same position. So we're just going to move it there. And you're just going to go through until it's more or less in the right spot. This doesn't have to be super accurate because at the end of the day, the zoom in effect is actually quite quick, but near enough is close enough. You could also go through and track the eye, but I think it's just an unnecessary complication to this effect. This just, you know, doesn't take very long. doesn't have to be super neat. You know, as you can see here, I'm just smashing it out really quickly, not even really thinking too much about it. So yeah. So once you've done that, now you've got it relatively tracked. Now, if we were to zoom in to the eye, you can see that it zooms into the eye which is exactly what we want. So now what we're gonna do is animate that zoom in effect. And we can pick whenever we wanna start that. So, all right, so we're gonna start this at frame 120. We're gonna set that keyframe for the size. And we're gonna move forward a little bit to like 127. We're gonna move in a little bit more, not a lot. And we're gonna move a bit further forward to like 133. And we're gonna move in a bit more. Now, if you find that your slider stops at five, you can just manually type in your number there, okay? So we're gonna actually set that to 10. I'm gonna go through right to the end and we're gonna set it to probably like 50, just so we're fully, we can even go a bit more, 100, just so we're fully in on that eye there. And so it comes in and zooms out like so, all right? So now we can do our rotation if we want. So we could start at, again, probably around here, we're gonna start the rotation. So 126, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe the angle. And again, we're just gonna move forward to 144 and we're gonna do a 180 degree rotation. So just 180. And so now if we were to play this through, Cool. All right, so now we're gonna mask out the eye. Now we could do it right at the start, but the thing is if we're only gonna have the mask sort of come into effect around here, 
There's no use animating it for this section. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it into when we kind of wanna see the mask. So I think I'm gonna start it around frame 110. I'm gonna bring this polygon mask in. I'm gonna click and drag it into the node tree and just connect it to the video mask. Now everything disappears and I wouldn't worry about that too much. We can just go over to the inspector and hit invert so we can see everything. And we zoom in on the eye. Now you could either mask out the pupil or the iris. It's totally up to you. For this one, let's let's do the pupil. So we're gonna click and drag. And doesn't have to be super accurate, just more or less around that, like so. Awesome. And if you don't wanna see the checker pattern for now, you can just hit the solid check mark here so you can't see it, we can just see the mask. So what we're gonna to wanna to do at frame 110 is we're gonna to wanna to keyframe the size and the center so that we can reposition it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly move forward. We're just going to reposition this mask. So we're gonna put it there, we're gonna put it up there. And we're gonna move forward a little bit more. Do the same thing. And we're just gonna go through this entire animation and keyframe that pupil out. So just keep moving forward and keep doing exactly what we're doing now. All right, so now the longer you spend on that animation, the better it's gonna look, but we've got a pretty pretty decent effect there. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna blur the edges a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit harsh, so we're gonna grab the polygon. And we're gonna soften the edges, but not a lot, because you see if we do a lot, it kind of distorts it a bit. So we're gonna just a little bit like so, so like 0 0.0016, so not a lot. And again, we can play it through. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. All right, so what we wanna do now is we obviously want this to blur in and obviously it's not tracking before frame 110. So what we're actually gonna do, is we're gonna duplicate it with the transform node. So select both of them, control C and then control V, paste. And all we're gonna to wanna to do is drag the transform node and we're gonna drop it onto the other one. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna merge it on top in the foreground. And we can rename this one just to keep organized. And we're gonna just call it video overlay. Awesome. And now what you can notice is we can't see the mask at all, and that's because now this entire normal video clip is sitting on top of it. But what we wanna do here is we're gonna animate what's called the blending. So if we go to the merge node, you can see that over in the inspector, we have this blend option. So if we were to go over here and we drag the blend, you can see that it blends in between. Really simple thing to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward to like frame 110, which, or like just after frame 110, which is when the anim we started animating our mask. We're gonna set a keyframe for the blend at one. And we're just gonna move forward a little bit to like frame 124, not a lot, and we're gonna bl blend it in. And so now if we were to watch this back, the mask blends in and then we zoom in. All right, awesome. Now there's a few, thing, few more things we can do. We can add a bit of motion blur, which is gonna help sell the effect. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna select the transform node on the, for the video clip that we've altered the animation for. So the one we've rotated, we're gonna hit motion blur. We're gonna increase the quality a bit. And you can see what this is gonna do is it's just gonna help sell this effect ever so slightly. Awesome. So the next thing to do is literally we're gonna go to the edit page and we have our video clip here and then it moves in and zooms in and obviously it goes black. So to do the overlay, all we need to do is drag this one at least onto the second layer and we're just gonna chuck whatever clip we want underneath. Really easy. And now it sort of comes in and you zoom in. Very cool, and you know, you can just add a bit of a sound effect. So let's drop that down a little bit. There you go. And that's how you create an eye zoom in transition. So there you go guys, how to create an eye mask transition inside of DaVinci Resolve. Pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Also make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And yeah, until the next video, guys, see ya.